The lunar calendar, also known as the moon calendar, is one of the oldest timekeeping systems in human history, based on the different phases of the moon. Even before 1500s BCE, various civilizations organized their rituals, agriculture, and religious festivals according to the moon's cycle. This calendar still holds great importance in many cultures and is widely used in different parts of the world. The lunar calendar is based on the moon's complete orbit around the Earth, which takes approximately 29.5 days to complete. Therefore, a lunar month typically consists of 29 or 30 days, making a full lunar year 354 or 355 days long. This is about 10 or 11 days shorter than the solar year 365 days, causing the lunar calendar to fall behind the solar calendar each year. This difference makes it distinct from the solar calendar and forces some civilizations to occasionally add an extra month to maintain synchronization with the seasons. In ancient civilizations, the lunar calendar held significant importance and was deeply rooted in the earlier social systems of the world. The Mesopotamian civilization, which included regions of modern-day Iraq and Syria, used this calendar for religious and agricultural purposes. The Babylonians, a major part of this civilization, determined months based on the moon's phases and added an extra month every few years to align with the solar year. Their calendar consisted of 12 lunar months, and the beginning of each month was determined by sighting the new moon, a practice that is still followed in the Islamic calendar today. The ancient Egyptians also used the lunar calendar, but later transitioned to the solar calendar because their agriculture depended on the annual flooding of the Nile River. Despite this transition, lunar cycles remained significant in Egyptian religious festivals. In China, the lunar calendar has been in use since ancient times. The Chinese lunar calendar followed a unique system where lunar months were adjusted with the solar year by adding an extra month every three years. This is why Chinese New Year falls on different dates each year, but always occurs in January or February. In India, the Hindu lunar calendar has a long-standing tradition where months are divided based on the moon, with each lunar month split into two phases, Shukla Paksha waxing phase and Krishna Paksha waning phase. Even today, Hindu religious festivals such as Diwali and Holi are celebrated according to this lunar system. The Greek and Roman civilizations initially followed lunar months as well, but later the Romans adopted a solar-based system, leading to the Julian calendar, which eventually evolved into the Gregorian calendar, the most widely used calendar in the world today. The Hebrew-Jewish calendar was also based on the lunar system and continues to be in use today. To maintain alignment with the solar year, an extra month is added every three years. Jewish religious festivals such as Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Passover follow this lunar system. The Islamic lunar calendar, which began in 610 CE, is completely based on the moon, with 354 or 355 days in a year. Each month starts with the sighting of the moon, and Islamic observances like Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, and Hajj are determined by this calendar, which moves back 10 to 11 days each year in relation to the solar calendar. The biggest advantage of the lunar calendar is that it is based on natural observations, allowing ancient people to easily track time. Farmers and fishermen use the moon's phases to determine the right time for harvesting crops and fishing. It also holds great religious significance, as Muslims, Jews, Hindus and Chinese cultures still follow lunar cycles for their religious and cultural festivals. However, a major drawback is that the lunar calendar does not synchronize with the solar year, making it less useful for agriculture. This is why some civilizations incorporated leap months to maintain alignment with seasonal changes. Even today, the lunar calendar is used in various ways. In the Islamic world, religious events like Ramadan, Eid, and Hajj follow this system. The Chinese calendar determines New Year, Mid-Autumn Festival, and other celebrations based on the moon. Many Hindu religious festivals also rely on the lunar system. In modern times, scientific studies use the lunar calendar for environmental research, ocean tides, and celestial observations. This calendar proves that thousands of years ago, people used the moon's motion to measure and organize time, a tradition that is still alive today. The continued use of the lunar calendar in different cultures reflects its deep-rooted significance, showing how it remains relevant in religious, traditional, and scientific contexts around the world.